if you have flashed the international xperia x performance model f8131 from here on japan sob 33 x performance and in case you want to get the japan stock from here back so you will need to flash the stock nougat japan from here of sob 33 by the flash tool software and further you may update to audio from nougat after flashing done connect the wi-fi check the software update and soon you're going to be informed of the update download the update and will flash automatically and your set will be updated from nougat to stock japan audio 8.0 i am going to flash japan stock from here of nougat on sov 33 xperia x performance hello everybody welcome to my channel tech infomania your device battery should be charged around 80 to 90 percent you will be needing to a good quality of data cable for flashing desktop pc or laptop will be required and in case of laptop battery should be charged also starting the procedure by downloading few applications i am using windows 7 64 bit which is the best choice for flashing from years on smartphones in case if you try to install flash tool or xperia companion and you get error of missing system update file on windows 7 64 bit then you need to download this file Second application to be download is Sony Xperia Companion. Third download file is the Xperia Performance USB driver. Fourth is the Flash Tool version 0.9.23.1 and the updated patch file version 0.9.23.2. And the last file is the Japan stock firmware of Nougat. All the software's link are provided in my video description to make you all easy on downloading it. Now the installation procedure. Double click the Xperia Companion for installing it on Windows. And in case if you get this type of error of missing a system file, then we need to install the updated system file for Windows 7 64-bit. Let me mention here that this error may be in Windows 7 and if you using other version of Windows then you may not get this error. Double click the file and start installation. When complete then computer must be restart. So coming back after restarting my laptop, going to install the Xperia Companion now. After Companion, we will start installing Flash Tool 0.9.23.1. Installing done of flash tool. Now we need to update the flash tool from 0.9.23.1 to 0.9.23.2. Unzip the downloaded patch file of flash tool. Open the unzip folder and copy the patch file. Go to the C drive and you will see the flash tool folder. Open it and paste that copied file here. Click the copy and replace option and we are good to go. Now our flash tool is updated to 0.9.23.2. Now open the driver folder here in flash tool folder and start installing the flash tool drivers by double clicking it. Select the flash mode and the fast boot and click install.
After installing flash mode and fast boot drivers, we need to install Xperia X performance driver. Go to the downloaded folder and unzip the X performance driver file. Click the start menu and go to my computer. Right click then left click on the properties. Then click Device Manager. Right click on your computer or laptop name that given by you during Windows installation. Left click on Add Legacy Hardware. Press Next. Select Second option. Install the hardware that I manually select from a list and press Next. Make sure that show all devices is highlighted, then press next, press half disk, press browse, go to your downloaded folder where the X performance driver file was unzipped. Open the driver folder and select the file SA0114ADB that you will see in that folder and press open press ok then press next and windows will ask for the confirmation just press next and installing of driver x performance will start and soon it will be done Open the C drive, then open Flash Tool folder and open the Flash Tool application. Opening the Flash Tool for the first time after installing it on Windows will take time now. As Flash Tool is loading devices, be patient and wait until this process get done. Flash tool is finally ready. Now we need to connect Xperia X performance in flash mode for once to let the windows install the driver and also flash tool detect the device. Make sure the device is totally powered off. Press and hold the volume down key and connect the data cable with the device. Make sure that other side of data cable is connected with computer and release the volume down key when you hear the sound from windows and soon you are going to see windows will start installing the device driver. And also the flash tool will show the device is connected in flash mode. So we are good to go now. Disconnect the cable from device for now. It's time to select the firmware on flash tool. Press the black thunder sign now. Leave flash mode selected and press OK. Press the three dot sign. Then go to the downloaded folder where the Japan SOB33 firmware is saved. Select the firmware and press OK. You will see Sony Xperia performance name in left side window. Scroll down that and will have the firmware version. Click on it and uh, the other options will appear to the right side windows. Select or check all the options of wipe window and that's all. Do not check anything else in other windows. Press the flash option and flash tool will start preparing firmware files and will soon inform you to connect the device. Flash tool informing you to connect the device in flash mode. So check the things that device should be powered off. The other side of data cable must be connected with the computer. Now press and hold the volume down key again and connect the data cable with the device.
and release the volume down key when you see the flash tool started flashing. Now all we need to wait and let the flashing process to be completed. When flash tool show the flashing is finished, then disconnect the cable from device and power it on. Computer job is done, thanks and well done. The first boot of X performance will start and will take a time to complete the first boot. Wait for it. First booting done, complete the setup screen and enjoy the stock Japan Nougat firmware on Xperia X Performance SOV33. I hope that my video may help you flushing the SOV33 X Performance back to stock. Thank you for watching and also subscribe my channel and give me a thumbs up. Have a good day to all.